this is a presentation idea. This is the second one that I've done. Um, and trying to think about how can I get the message out. A big part of my platform at, at Floorball Guru is focused on education. I really want to get people to understand what the sport is, why it, why it's fun, how to get involved, and then again, kind of dispel some of the different things that, that come up with it. My background, uh, floorball is not my day job as much as I want it to be going forward. I am thankful to work in campus recreation. I'm the director of recreation at St. Martin's University in Lacey, Washington. I've been able to participate with the men's national team and to play in Latvia. And then up until recently, I was the USA U19 women's uh, head coach, where I was able to coach at the World Floorball Championships in Switzerland in 2018. Uh, again, I'm the owner of Floorball Guru. I started, the, started it. And then I've also done a couple other things, working with different groups. Uh, like the Gretzky Hockey School, and then also I teach on a regular basis within my local community. I've started leagues, I've started instructional classes, camps, programs, things like that, and I continue to do that going forward. Some of the learning outcomes that we're going to see with this sport is just to understand some of the basic rules of the game, uh, and then ultimately how to conduct an event at your school or organization, and then I understand the differences between floor ball and floor hockey. Now, that is what a lot of people are going to hear or think about when they initially see the sport of floor ball is floor hockey. Oh, I played that in elementary school, primary school, high school, college, things like that. Or we already played deck or street hockey. Floor ball is a different game. While it may look similar, it is a completely different game as far as some of the rules are concerned. And we'll talk about that, some of that in just a little bit. Going back, the sport of floorball has been around for quite a while. It's uh, taken a little bit to come back to the US, but in its primary form, it kind of went over to, to Sweden and to the Nordic countries and has blown up ever since. And floorball is as big a sport in Europe as anything that we would have uh, on the minor league level specifically. If you look at like minor league baseball, minor league hockey, um, some of our soccer programs and lacrosse, some of that other stuff. Uh, it's a big deal over there, uh, but even then they're still trying to fight for uh, space with other sports. But it is definitely in the top five for a lot of countries, if not uh, a little bit higher than that. So it is definitely a, a sport that's played around the world and it continues to grow. Now the data that you're seeing on this slide is actually a little bit old. And some of the stuff that I could find as far as statistics, there's definitely more organizations that are participating in floorball right now, more countries. Uh, there's more interest overall around the world and different pockets are starting to grow throughout Asia, uh, into New Zealand, Australia, Singapore. Uh, I've definitely seen a lot of good growth and then we're gonna see some more throughout Europe and then, and then some of the stuff that is happening throughout North America as well. So it's definitely growing in awareness and engagement. We talk about the floorball being an international sport. It is governed by the International Floorball Federation. They are the overseers for the sport, specifically around uh, the rules of the game, uh, training, uh, kind of just working with uh, different organizations to get them up and running and get started and to kind of grow the sport. They oversee the men, women, U19 men and U19 women World Floorball Championships. And then they're also part of the group that's overseeing uh, floorball as far as the sport within the World Games as well. And then hopefully the Olympics as we move forward. Floorball is recognized Special Olympics sport and has played as part of their overall uh, enjoyment and growth of sports within Special, Special Olympics. And there are different groups that are out there that are continuing to build and grow this, whether it's through specialized, specialized, Special Olympics or unified sports within Special Olympics. They do adapt the sport a little bit to change a little bit some of the, 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 ru the rules to some degree, but more or less they are playing floorball. And then we've got wheelchair floorball, which is both manual wheelchair and electric wheelchair and the rules and the, and, and the guidelines that are built around that as well. So when we think about sports that are inclusive to everyone, floorball is definitely one of those sports that is a, is a sport for all. <laughs> 